One of the questions I get most often here on the channel is how can I export my animations once I created them in Adobe XD? So in this video, let's talk about it. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we get started with today's video, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. So before we get started with exporting animations from Adobe XD, it's worth noting and worth understanding what animation actually is. Animation is basically just two objects moving from place to place, changing their size, changing their form. For example, different shapes, if they are changing from place to place, they are basically these keyframes in place explaining inside of the code how this animation is going to work from this place, so from point A to point B, for example. And if we take a look at here, this is one of my Adobe XD tutorial and hopefully you already saw it on the channel. So if I hit preview right here, what we have right here is this. So basically all of these icons are changing from uh, place to place on hover and these backgrounds are changing as well. So icon is changing from this position to this position and this background shape is changing from here to here. What we have basically if we go right here to the prototype, if I select this for example, what we have right here are all of these. So we have trigger basically uh, when the animation is going to start so something has to happen before the animation actually starts in this case it's the hover if i click right here you can see that we have all of these different triggers so tap drag hover keys and gamepads and voice all of these are really important because they are telling the code inside of adobe xd's generator what all of these are going to take place and on what they are going to take place so if somebody is going to tap if somebody is going to drag depending of those it's going to change the code in the background basically all of this is explained uh, in uh, really simple terms and in a really simple language so they are going to change according to what you have selected right here next up we have the type so in this case we have auto animate but usually you have this transition here we have overlay, scroll through, previous artboard, audio playback and speech playback. So basically all of these are going to be different inside of the code. And we have destination, so hover in this case, and we have easing. Destination it will be different if you have multiple artboards. So if you're changing from artboard to artboard, from screen to screen, that's where the destination is going to change. Finally, we have easing. So we have snap in my case, but we have none ease out, ease in, ease in out, snap, wind up and bounce. And finally we have the duration, so how long the animation is actually going to take. All of these are really important for the code generation. And code generation is basically um, just this background process which is happening uh, in Adobe XD and in any uh, kind of uh, file format that you're working on, in any kind of software you're working on, especially in something like Adobe After Effects because it's generating all of these things in the background. But how can you export all of these things? Well, for that reason, uh, it's worth creating this video and it's worth exploring because it's much more complex with Adobe XD than with some like Figma because Figma is created by this one company it's a one tool created by one company so they can really integrate all of these different solutions inside of Figma while on the other hand Adobe XD is created by a corporation which has multiple different products so it's really not uh, that worthy for them to create all of this functionality in Adobe XD because they really tried it in the past with Adobe Photoshop and they try to add more and more features to Adobe Photoshop from photo changing options to photo cutting options to 3D options to all of these things. So users really got confused with what Photoshop actually is. So therefore Adobe decided to change direction and to create a separate uh, objects and to separate tools for each particular task that users need to create. So on one hand, we have Adobe Animate, for example, which is dedicated for animation. And if you take a look right here uh, in Adobe XD, all of these are extremely basic settings. So to give an example, I'm using something called Filmora Pro, and you also have Filmora 10, I think it's at this moment of making of this video. 
basically it's a video editing software and i really like to use it because it's lightweight it works on mac and pc it's extremely simple to learn uh, then for example something like adobe premiere pro which is extremely complex it has all of these different functionalities and it really slows down your machine you really have to have a great computer to use it and therefore i really like to use something like filmora pro why is this important well in filmora pro you have all of these options so for example uh, you have transitions you have these easing so ease out ease in uh, wind up bounce so all of these are really default in majority of software out there what that means for code basically is that code generation is exactly the same across all of these different application now back to adobe and why does it matter for adobe well they have something called after effects which is the industry standard for generations now for decades now and inside of after effects you can create this extremely complex animations hollywood studios use it all of the time so it's extremely complex it's extremely uh, time consuming to learn and to create all of these animations so therefore they are not going to waste their time by investing it and investing their resources and team members into Adobe XD, which is just a tool for UI UX design. Yes, animation is the part of UI UX design, especially in today's day and age, but it's not critical to UI UX design. You can still create static pages, they will still convert fine, but if you want to create animations, then I would really recommend to use something like Adobe After Effects. But why they are creating this in the first place in adobe xd what's the point of all of these options if you are telling me to use after effects well you can still use adobe xd to test out how these transitions are going to work and to play them out like so and to see how these hover effects are going to work to see how all of these elements are going to changing because that's the whole point of prototyping to understand how all of these things are going to change and then if you want to export what i really recommend is to export them to after effects and then polish your animation there and you can export it from there if you need to export the code then what you need to do is come right here to adobe xd to the plugins right here and click right here and inside of the plugins you can type in export for example press enter or return and you're going to get all of these options now what all of these options mean basically is because these are plugins these are external companies working inside of adobe xd chances are you're going to have to pay for additional uh, services from these companies so majority of them are going to give you some free options like we have flutter export so if you are working with flutter you can directly export assets to flutter from here it says it's free which is great but uh, in some cases just be aware of it you will have to pay for additional services like they are going to give you the option to export let's say one web page but if you want to export let's say 20 different web pages from that particular project you will have to pay for those additional exports just keep those things in mind uh, when you are finding these plugins and then we have this advanced export for developers and you can always click right here and you can see colors for android you have css less and scss you have artboard mockup for ax aml and name of the artboards so if you like that you can install it really easily you can simply click get and install all of these we have quest web exports so you can convert uh, design to live website you can export for web components uh, if you're working with this queued unity exported you can export it uwp uh, icons export for windows for example xd export five icon export web export so if i click right here you can uh, author and export to html css uh, you have the support for laptop right there so all of these things are included here and make sure to check it out because as you can see there are many 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 different plugins out there so depending on what you need you can really play around with them and you can really uh, see uh, which type of export really works for you uh, if you want to uh, learn more about this then i would really recommend to check out online forums and to understand from different developers what they were using uh, for this export but on the other hand i really like to use after effects because i can simply come right here to adobe i can go to the file export and then if i have after effects uh, fired up it will show right here click right there and then it will open that animation straight into adobe after effects i can then reanimate it there if i want to i can polish it up i can add advanced easing because in adobe xd you don't have keyframes so for example 
animation starts right here it ends right here but it doesn't have advanced uh, animation features like keyframes so for example i wanted to ease in and out in the middle of animation or at 30 percent of the animation so you get my point you can get uh, the stuff done right here it's really simple but if you want some complex animations if you want to add 3d interaction uh, for example with keyframes uh, with background objects with flares with i don't know stuff like that so really complex things then you're really out of luck with Adobe XD, but Adobe as a company creates another tool called Adobe After Effects and then you can simply export it directly from here going to file, export, After Effects and open up your After Effects file there. Now you might be wondering, well, what's all this fuss about? Why cannot uh, I simply export these simple uh, anim animations from Adobe XD because I created them there? I don't want to create anything complex. Well, there's a solution for that as well. So if we go back to here and I'm going to show you this. So it's called Anima and you can use Anima right inside of Adobe XD. So you can come right here to your plugins you can click Anima, press enter, and you can get it. It's free to get started. You can uh, prototype to HTML, React, and Vue. You also get JS, you get CSS, but you will have to pay for Anima. Uh, you will have to pay for premium package. And if you come right here to the pricing, so you can get started for free, as you can see, for individuals or team, one project, high fidelity prototype, team collaboration, but you cannot export React components, you cannot export uh, HTML code, and you don't get the custom domain. So you have unlimited project on this basic, but you still cannot export React, HTML, and custom. Inside of the Pro, you can. So if you're working on one simple project, for example, then you can uh, make this pro plan work for you quite nicely so you can get the pro plan export everything that you need directly from adobe xd including these animations and then you can simply uh, work from there uh, to get right here you can go to the anima and then see the futures you can watch the video so the first design to uh, interactive platform you can build so you get the flexbox, you can code components, reusable code, and you can get that code, you can download it, you can integrate it, whatever you are doing. So design developers and teams. So you can see all of these things. So they're working with JS, which is great. Do more, go faster. So that's Anima for you. One more thing that you should note is Loti. So Loti are these amazing files and amazing uh, file type standard uh, uh, as of recent years because this is really um, something which has changed the community forever, basically, because lightweight scalable animations for your website and apps. So you can uh, edit and you can see PNG and GIF and Loti, so different file size and how the animation actually works. So they're working with JS once again, you can see all of these different animations. You can create, edit and ship in a few clicks. They also have a creator so you can import your SVG file and animate it here inside of the Loti. Or if you're using After Effects, you have plugin. So you can see right here After Effects and they also have Adobe Animate plugin. If you're using that, you can animate it there and export directly as a Loti file, which has all of the animation inside. Simply copy and paste that code into your website and then you get the job done. Basically, animation is going to work just fine. So you can see Adobe After Effects, Adobe Animate. They also have a Figma plugin, a Framer plugin. So if you're using with those things and if you're working with Webflow. Speaking of Webflow, as you can uh, probably imagine, Webflow is a modern way to build web without any code. But if you're using Loti, you can uh, integrate it with Webflow and you can simply get uh, Loti code, put it back inside of your Webflow uh, project, and then you are going to get this animation. So basically, once again, you can get started with Adobe XD, export it using all of these different plugins or export it to After Effects and then go to Loti. Or if you're working with Webflow, you can simply use uh, Loti files for that particular animation from After Effects and then go to Webflow if you're using Webflow. If not, Loti also integrates with WordPress. Uh, I think you can get some hacks with Squarespace or Wix. I'm not really sure, but I know about Webflow and I know about uh, WordPress, so you can use those too. And once again, Adobe After Effects is really the king in this game. 
for decades now so if you are really working with complex animations get started in xd put them in adobe after effects polish them up right there i would really recommend for all designers out there especially ui ux designers to learn how to work with adobe after effects because that's a nice skill to have because it's really going to bring you a lot of the clients in the future and it's really going to expand your work as a designer and really open you up to new possibilities because it's so complex because it's so versatile and because it works in all of these platforms so I know this wasn't probably the solution you were looking for. Maybe you were looking for something like click export, everything works uh, perfectly every single time. That thing really doesn't exist. You have to work, you have to export it, you have to uh, put in the work, put in the time, put in the planning to really understand how all of this ecosystem, especially with Adobe works. Because once again, Adobe is a massive company. They are creating multiple products all of the time. So they are not really going to invest their time, resources and money into one simple project and one simple tool like Adobe XD. They are going to offer you this yearly membership for all of their different products. And then you really have great integration with them because as you saw, you can really easily open up uh, your Adobe XD file inside of After Effects and really polish it there, add some custom animations, add some easings, uh, keyframes and much more, and then export it to Loti, for example, get the code, and then you can put that code into any website out there. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week about Adobe XD, passive income techniques, motivation, and more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.